USC will look to dominate once again in 2007. Pete Carroll's Trojans have 17 starters returning from last year, led by senior quarterback John David Booty. Booty lost his top two receivers, Steve Smith and Dwayne Jarrett, to the NFL, but look for big seasons from youngsters Patrick Turner and Vidal Hazleton. Among the 10 returnees on defense, there are six players who are named either first or second team all Pac-10, as well as co-freshman of the year, free safety Taylor Mays. The road will not be an easy one with games at Nebraska, Notre Dame, Oregon, and Cal, but USC has to be the favorite to win the Pac-10 and must be considered as a national title contender. Cal is coming off of a 10-3 record and will be trying to make that final push to make it into the national title picture. If they make that push, it will be on the back of their offense, which led the Pac-10 in scoring with just under 33 points per game. This high-powered offense is led by quarterback Nate Longshore. Longshore's favorite target is Deshaun Jackson. Jackson has game-changing speed and ability as a wideout and punt returner. Cal must rebuild on defense as the Bears must replace six starters, three of whom were first-team All-Pac-10 performers. The Golden Bears' year starts out with a bang as they try to avenge last year's opening game defeat to Tennessee. However, this time, the game is at Memorial Stadium. UCLA returns 10 starters on offense, including quarterbacks Ben Olsen and Patrick Cowan. Olsen started five games last season, but a knee injury put him out for the rest of the year. Cowan started the rest of the season at quarterback, but proved to be not as mobile or as strong as Olsen. After a good spring, Olsen comes into 07 as the Bruins starter. Last year, UCLA allowed only 19.9 points per game and had one of the best secondaries in the conference. This experienced group will without a doubt be the Bruins' strength in 2007. Oregon, after coming off a disappointing season, will look to feed off their explosive offense. Despite some quarterback questions and inconsistency from their defense, the Ducks should be poised for a winning season. We'll find out a lot about Oregon in Week 2 as the Ducks head to Ann Arbor to take on Wanted Michigan. The Beavers have two talented sophomores, Sean Canfield and Lyle Moivo, competing for the starting role at quarterback. But OSU will use first-team All-Pac-10 running back Evanson Bernard to take the pressure off the youngsters. Oregon State's defense will be counted on to keep them in games if they hope to make a run at the top spot in the Pac-10. Arizona State hired a new coach in Dennis Erickson and have 10 starters coming back on offense, including junior quarterback Rudy Carpenter. While the offense scored just under 27 points per game, the defense gave up just over 25. With a favorable schedule, including eight home games, Coach Erickson will try to get this program back to its winning ways. Arizona comes into 2007 with a lot of promise. Their defense was ranked 35th in the nation after allowing just under 20 points per game. On the flip side, their offense averaged just under 17. That ranked 105th in the nation. When quarterback Willie Tuitama played, they won. But Tuitama was marred by concussions all season long. A healthy Tuitama and a stingy defense should go a long way toward Arizona improving in 2007. Wazoo brings back quarterback Alex Brink along with a talented receiving core. The Cougars will score a lot of points, but they'll need to improve on defense after allowing over 23 points per game. Washington has the toughest schedule of any team in the Pac-10, maybe even the nation, taking on the likes of Boise State, Ohio State, and not to mention Cal and USC. Third-year coach Tyrone Willingham will have his hands full this year while trying to get his team over 500 for the first time under his tenure. Stanford brought in former NFL quarterback Jim Harbaugh to be their head coach. Things will not turn around overnight for Stanford, but given some time, Coach Harbaugh can make this program into a winner once again. That's your 2007 Pac-10 preview.